with the release of Mirage Vacuums being soon, I thought it was time to make a basic concrete cannon tutorial. And Mirage Factions is unique compared to most other faction servers due to the fact that while there is 1.8 PvP, of course, the cannon is 1.16 cannon and not 1.8. This means that virtually all 1.8 cannons will not work on this server, but cannons will be able to use the 1.16 concrete block to achieve a similar effect of a basic 1.8 sand cannon without actually having to stack the sand. So for this, it's just going to be a basic tutorial. I've set up a small base, just a few walls. I'm just going to get started here. Uh, and just for a little background on how concrete cannoning even works generally, you know that if you know what the concrete uh, block is or the concrete powder, you know that when it's placed next to water, or it's just next to water in general, it'll become solid. So you might say, how are you going to use that to cannon? Because it's just going to hit the first wall and become solid as soon as it touches the water. But really what happens is it takes one game tick for the game to recognize that it's next to water. So if you shoot it fast enough, uh, you can get it to the wall. and It'll become solid in the right place. And then you can basically just hybrid the wall in the same way you'd hybrid uh, a wall with a sand cannon and just get through and for this power, uh, we're pretty close, so I don't need the concrete to be going that fast. I'm just having a, a few rows here, and I usually just like to do a uh, six wide on these. Just the basic uh, version of this cannon. And uh, I thought it was necessary, I guess in general, just to make this video because uh, I want people to have just some basic uh, knowledge of uh, cannoning, so I guess like it's pretty hard to just start uh, making concrete cannons from scratch. And like whereas 1.8 cannons are basically all over YouTube, it's not really the same for uh, concrete cannons. So I thought right, if we're gonna have a server with these interesting concrete cannon mechanics, we might as well just make a basic video so that people don't, or aren't total noobs when they show up on the server and you can just get it's on your massive cannons or whatever. So this is just the basic pattern for how you, you want to make the power here. And obviously if you, if your concrete becomes solid too soon, you can just add more rows up there, uh, shoot the concrete faster and uh, make it turn solid later. So for this, I'm just setting up a basic uh, compressor here. Uh, it's just going to go off two full repeaters before that power. So just what's going to happen is this is going to go off. It's going to shoot this TNT just to right here, just so it's as efficient as possible. And then this barrel part here, you're going to want to have one above the other. The one on the top is going to be your concrete is and that's important because uh, the concrete needs one needs to be like because this is going to be a trap door here that's how I like to do it. it needs to be pushed over and it needs to fall one block to actually become an entity or else your uh, cannon is going to blow up if you don't have it like that so that's important Oops. and then for the timings here it's just uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Repeaters, uh, nine of them are going to be on full ticks. And then the last one's just going to be on two. And it's going to be the same thing for the other side here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then once we get that set up, I'm just gonna finish the rest of this barrel here. And put the ladders in here. And this is, uh, I like to have it like that, so that the TNT is a little bit closer. I know it'll shoot up, so you might have problems with that. It's not a 
going forward fast enough, but that's what I like to do here. And then for the scatter or the TNT that actually gets shot at the wall, I just like to build it like this. And then we're just going to connect it here. Oops. Just a couple of rows, uh, repeaters and uh, dust. Oops. There we go. And then just a little glass uh, stairway up to connect it. And for this, I'm just going to have it come off of the power like that. And I'm have one repeater here and it's just going to be on one tick. So of course, that's just going to go off uh, one tick later than this TNT. As I said, like it takes one game tick for the concrete to become solid uh, once it's touching water so one redstone tick is two game ticks of course so it's gonna need to be that tight for it to work and then I'll be right back when the cannon's full all right so the cannon's all set up and ready to fire and I've just set up a simple little clock here so that I don't have to push the button every time and we can just go to the wall and watch it go so it's about a fire here and there we go, it's working. And so today was just a very basic uh, concrete cannon tutorial. And of course, there's uh, much better cannons out there. Uh, this suited the base well, but I might make uh, more tutorials like this, uh, depending on how a uh, server progresses, uh, just because I don't want uh, new players to join the server and just be so far behind with the concrete cannon. And, and uh, so they have a chance to compete on the server. Okay, and there we go. So we got in. We got their spawners. <laughs> and okay, they're gonna split their base. That's nice. Go back. And I'll just set up the uh, traditional blowing up of the cannon after successful raid. And I guess that's the video. Once this wire comes down slowly. Alright, and I'll just blow up the cannon. And I'm excited to see all of you on play.miragefactions.com. And we're falling. Alright, see y'all.